Ever tried to tickle yourself? Go ahead, give it a shot. I'll wait. Nothing, right? Maybe a slight sensation, but nothing close to that uncontrollable laughter when someone else does it. Pretty weird when you think about it. I mean, it's your own body. Shouldn't you know exactly where and how to tickle yourself better than anyone else? Well, turns out your brain is basically a party pooper with an excellent spam filter. See, when you try to tickle yourself, your brain is like, yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. But why? It's not like your brain has trust issues with your own hands. The actual science is pretty straightforward. Your cerebellum, that's the part of your brain that coordinates movement, creates something called an efference copy whenever you move. It's basically a carbon copy of the movement instructions your brain sends to your body. This efference copy lets your brain predict what sensations to expect. So when you move your fingers to tickle yourself, your brain goes, oh, I ordered those fingers to move, so whatever I feel next is boring and predictable, not worth my attention. And just like that, it dampens the response before you even feel it. But when someone else tickles you, total surprise attack. Your brain has no efference copy, no warning, no prediction. Your sensory cortex lights up like a Christmas tree, and suddenly you're laughing uncontrollably while also contemplating violence against the tickler. It's a weird combo, but we've all been there. There's actually an evolutionary reason for this. Your brain needs to filter out predictable sensations so it can focus on unexpected ones, you know, like predators or that friend who thinks surprise tickling is hilarious. If your brain paid attention to every single self-generated touch, you'd be constantly distracted by your clothes touching your skin or your legs rubbing together when you walk. Some scientists think this same predictive mechanism explains why you can't really tickle yourself in dreams either. Even in dreamland, your brain knows it's you. Interestingly, people with schizophrenia can sometimes tickle themselves. Their brains struggle with this self-other distinction, which means their predictive filtering doesn't work the same way. So their inability to tell what sensations they caused versus what comes from outside actually makes them better at self-tickling. Not exactly a superpower you'd want, though. There have been attempts to hack this system. Some researchers built a tickling machine with a slight delay between your action and the tickling sensation. The delay confuses your brain just enough that you might actually feel ticklish. Because your brain is like, wait, I don't remember ordering that exact tickle at that exact moment. So there you have it. You can't tickle yourself because your brain is too damn smart for its own good. It's got better things to do than laugh at your predictable finger wiggles. Not that this information helps you when you're being tickled, but whatever.